Turkey and Saudi Arabia are in a bitter diplomatic battle. They're clamoring for the right to be called the leader of the Islamic world. But now political tensions between the two are spilling over into trade. Saudi business leaders are calling for a boycott of Turkish goods, a boycott that could mean trouble for President Erdogan. The battle for supremacy in the Islamic world has entered a new frontier. Commerce. Saudi business leaders are urging citizens to boycott Turkish goods. The call has come from Ajlan Al Ajlan, chairman of the Saudi Chamber of Commerce. He is urging citizens to boycott everything Turkish, from imports to investment and tourism. The reason, he says, is the continued hostility of the Turkish government against the Saudi leadership. Saudi Arabia has not confirmed reports of an informal boycott. But accounts from businessmen on either side tell the story. Saudi importers say that Turkish containers are often held at the port for months on end. Some say customs officials ask them to not import directly from Turkey. Over in Ankara, a Turkish lawmaker claims that exports from his country are being held at the Saudi border for longer than necessary. He described it as an informal embargo by Saudi Arabia. Tension between the two countries is nothing new. Now a reconciliation looks increasingly unlikely. On Thursday, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan accused Gulf countries of targeting Turkey. This is what he had to say. And I quote, it should not be forgotten that the countries in question did not exist yesterday and probably will not exist tomorrow. However, we will continue to keep our flag flying in this region forever with the permission of Allah." Unquote. The murder of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi had plunged bilateral ties to a low point. Erdogan believes the hit was ordered by the Saudi royal family, possibly by the crown prince himself. Earlier this week, Turkey charged six Saudi nationals for Khashoggi's murder. The trial is largely symbolic, as none of the suspects are in Turkey. Another flashpoint has been the issue of normalizing ties with Israel. When the Abraham Accords were announced, Erdogan threatened to suspend ties with the UAE. Notwithstanding the fact that Ankara has had diplomatic relations with Israel for more than half a century. Under Erdogan, this dynamic has changed. On the other hand, Saudi Arabia's response to normalization deals has been more measured. So that brings us to where we are right now. A continued state of cold conflict. With Saudi Arabia possibly imposing an informal embargo, the impact of this blockade could be far-reaching, especially for Turkey. Saudi Arabia is Turkey's 15th biggest export market. In the current financial year, Turkey has sold goods worth $1.91 billion to Saudi Arabia. Compared to the previous year, that's a drop of almost 17%. Some of it can be attributed to the Wuhan virus pandemic. But data reveals a long-term trend. Over the last five years, Turkish imports have fallen gradually in response to rising political tensions. The informal boycott has been in place for much longer than noted. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Vion, world is one.